Hey, welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Going back to Pretty Things out in Westport, Mass. This is the Pretty Things Field Mouse's Farewell, a rustic golden ale brewed with barley, oats, wheat, and rye. Good time artisanal beers brewed in Massachusetts. Um, 7% ABV. This was bottled in May of 2011, and it's only batch number two. It's a pretty beer, I guess. Kind of like a honey apricot skin color. Mostly translucent, there's a little bit of haze on there. Uh, head's decent. Hmm, I get a lot of, like, kind of rustic citrus notes. Um, yeah, they said it's wheat and rye. Yeah, I get, uh, yeah, I get like the typical kind of Saison, you know, farm. Like, a lot of straw and hay kind of smell. Like, white grape in there for sure, too. Let's see if it tastes any good. Cheers. Hmm. It's an interesting palette. Um, just like with the Jack Door... This is like, even while it's in your mouth, it's dry. I definitely noticed that like through the whole first half, like, a lot of dryness, kind of like a black pepper. The second half was nice. I actually got some real genuine fruity notes on there. Kind of like apricot or peach. Slight citrus. For a saison, it's remarkably soft and, you know, not... Not crisp, it's more of a smoother, not quite creamy texture, but just like a softer edge to it. Not not all effervescent and, and like crisp like most of them. I think the Jack Door was like that. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting the, the rye on this one. That's probably what I'm getting the aftertaste. It's just like, yeah, it's definitely black pepper. Yeah, really rye, like earthiness on this one. Like, if you bought, like, a real rye bread from, like, a bakery, and not, like, the prepackaged ones at the supermarket, like, that much rye, like, tons of rye, that's that's probably what's coming for, like, both the dryness and the kind of spice aftertaste. I also said it's made with oats and wheat. You know, I'm not really getting a lot of, you know, Hefeweizen or oatmeal kind of qualities on here. I have a feeling those are more for, like, texture than for taste. Yeah, the more I drink, the more kind of fruity notes I'm getting, which I like. A lot of orange up front, kind of black pepper in the back, and it's it's quite dry throughout. It, it, just with that rye, like that rye taste, like, you know, rye shotgun underneath the palate, so it's like going orange, you know, what have you. And then, but it's like, at the same time, there's always rye dryness. Um... This is a little bit different than the usual Saison. And so far I'm digging it, but I'm still not loving it. So, um, you know, I still got plenty left in the bottle here. So, we'll take a break and come back. Cheers. Alright, I'm back, and I am going to give a 7 out of 10 to the Field Mouse's Farewell. I think it's the same as what I gave the Jack Door. I like this a little bit better than that, but not enough to give it any higher rating. It's, I think it's a, a beer that could have been great, but it just turns out to be good. So I like how they really used uh, authentic fruity taste in here. A nice, nice, real authentic sweetness to balance it out. Lots of orange. Some white grape, like I mentioned in the nose. And like, you know, kind of other of those like lighter skin type fruits. But I think they just went a little nuts with the rye. Because that rye is supposed to, like rye is supposed to add like a subtle spice. But this is just like, it's like eating rye bread and drinking orange juice at the same time. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not particularly bitter. I, I actually saw on the website, it's only like 38 IBU. So, you know, I think maybe add more hops or whatever and you can get like a little bit of citrus out of this. I mean, like there's a tiny little bit of citrus in here, but more it's like the kind of, you know, non-acidic type fruitiness. It is very drinkable though, I will give it that. I mean, it's extremely smooth. It kind of calmed down a little, maybe a little too much, actually. 
not like the usual saisons are extremely effervescent and crisp. This is more of just like a straight up like ale, ale. Um, you know, kind of a softer, calmer, more comfortable mouthfeel. Goes down very smooth. It does leave that rye aftertaste though. One thing about pretty things, at least they have interesting names and, and labels for their beer, so. Anyways, thanks for watching this episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. I'll see you next time. Cheers.